Well, it's official. We did not beat the snow. How pretty it is though. It is beautiful, but our goal was to be inside and done with everything on the exterior before this happened. What she's saying is since it's snowing, we're taking the day off. We're just going to enjoy time as a family out, maybe have a snowball fight or two. It's going to be great. We're working today. What? All right, so what is going to be the plan for today? What are we doing? The plan for today is to try to work undercover. So we're going to be working on completing the front of our house, which I'm really excited about because all of those windows and the big sliding glass door is going to look so different when it's all finished. Yeah, the weather really isn't all that bad. It is snowing, but it's like in the high 30s. I really like it. It's, it's nice. cold. So we're going to work under the overhang, try to get all that siding put up. And you will see also and hear that our electricians are back on site and they're plugging away, getting all their work done. So we're going to have to work around each other and we will see how much progress we can make on the front wall as usual. I'm getting major Bob the Builder vibes. You like the way it looks with my Oshkosh Bagosh? Yeah, I think that looks really like sexy. It looks, it looks gray. It matches. It's like a matching ensemble almost, some would say. <laughs> it's like a baby. <laughs> Doing a little diaper over the shoulder. I look cute. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, very cute. Thanks. To get ready started, Melissa and I are going to be adding a fourth piece of trim to the large sliding glass wall that we have here at the front of the house. Now down the road, we do want to add a short little stairway going from the eventual patio we're going to have installed up to the bottom of that slider. But for the sake of getting all of our siding put up on the wall, we're just going to get that trim up and work around it. So we're going to fire up the saw and get to work. The kids are standing back here waiting to throw giant snowballs at me. Oh, <laughs> oh no, not his coveralls. Uh-oh. <laughs> it lots of fun. <laughs> Come on, it's looking good and I'm all wet. You were looking good. Schnazzy. Schnazzy. It's my overall dance. Don't look at me like that. Nice duds, man. Nice duds. See, he gets what I'm talking about. Overall dance. Yeah, he gets it. He gets it. There hasn't been a single board that's been put up on our house yet. Melissa's already transitioning to some, are, are those heated gloves? They are, yep. I wanna thank the person that sent me these gloves because they noticed that the finger was off of my old gloves. So I love the new gloves and I cut the finger off so that I can work my camera. Why is that? Well, because it's a touch screen and I need a bare finger to be able to work on the gloves even though it's a screen finger. It just doesn't really work well. So this time I made like a little pocket so I can put my finger back in warm it up then i can stick it back out it's very very, it's very, very shining of you it's like the shining <laughs> melissa's hands are cold she told me she can't work in the cold <laughs> All right, piece number one. Alrighty. My hands are already cold. Mine are warm. <laughs> so, a new creative setting. Just imagine a tropical paradise. You <laughs> sunbathing on the beach. Is that what you're picturing? I mean, maybe. As far as I'm concerned, banana hammock season. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> That's all enough. There we go. Let's get this up all the way. Yeah. Oh, my hands are already cold. You should get some heated gloves. Heated gloves. Oh, that's nice. We got our first piece in place. Perfect first time. Now we're going to start working up that wall. Let's go. Lots of cuts today. Are you looking 
Yeah. It is, huh? I'm really excited about having the front wall done. Me too. It's gonna look finished. Yeah. More finished. Totally change the look of the house. I'm loving this snow and cold and all, but my hands and fingers are numb. Absolutely frozen. Heated gloves are better. You stole my joke. So on this piece, we have to notch out the top so that it will fit underneath the window. See how it's kind of overlapping there? So he just holds it up, makes his marks and then cuts it perfect every time. Every time. Not every time. <laughs> Melissa and I wanna take a moment to talk to you about a growing problem that a lot of folks are completely unaware of and that's mortgage and title fraud. Title fraud is when someone steals your title or the deed of your home for financial gain. Thieves simply change ownership of your home from you to them. Then they take out loans on your home and disappear. Leaving you with the payments and a mountain of legal bills. Today's system is not protecting you from home title fraud. Yeah, your homeowner's insurance will not cover title theft. Neither will credit card or traditional identity protection. And title insurance only protects you on the day that you close on your home. Yeah, there's no further protection past that. But with Home Title Lock, you can protect your home equity and title for only pennies a day. You'll get 24-7 monitoring and instant alerts if they detect tampering with your title or mortgage. You'll also get up to a million dollars in legal and expert fees on your behalf. Go to HomeTitleLock.com slash GoodSimpleLiving and use our code GoodSimpleLiving to try out Home Title Lock risk-free for 30 days. That's 30 days free trial with our code GoodSimpleLiving at HomeTitleLock.com slash GoodSimpleLiving. You guys making snowballs? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> What is this? No, you can't get mom. Mom cooks you food. Oh, no, no, stop it. That's it. No soup for you. No soup for you. Well, now that we have been attacked by snowballs, we're going to go in and warm up our fingers for about a half an hour or so, grab some food, and then be back out here because I think we only have a couple hours of sunlight left, yeah. but hopefully we can get a little bit higher up that wall. My hands are so cold. <laughs> Mine are too. I can't grab the screws in my pocket. My battery's died. We are back from our very late lunch. The temperature, I swear, has dropped another 10 degrees. So we've got maybe an hour left of sunlight. It was really hard to come back out because we were so warm. And we ate warm soup. It's just hard to put our coats back on. Jeremy's putting on a second coat. I look more like you. It's that cold. I have to dress like Melissa and put 20 coats on. You just need to layer and layer and layer and layer. Done. Let's go. Okay, so just a bunch of little tiny pieces all the way to the top of the window. That's it, Mama. Simple as that. All right. The best part about working around the windows is we get to utilize all of our scraps, which is really good news because I'm super afraid of running out of siding because we've messed up a few coats. Look what I just found. What is that? My beanie. I left it outside. It's frozen solid. Well, that'll keep your head warm. <laughs> We got that side of the window done and now we're moving on to that side and then we're gonna go inside and warm up because it is getting colder and colder and colder. Good news, Jeremy, we can work an hour longer. <laughs>
What a difference a day makes. All of the snow has melted. The temperatures are much warmer, but unfortunately we now have a muddy mess on our hands. So we are going to continue working on our front wall. Yesterday we worked on the far side of the wall. We did not come all the way down because we didn't have our corner trim up. So to get today started, we need to slap that up there, get it secured, and then we'll start cutting siding once again. Nailed it. Just in time to be done with them. <laughs> one more. By the time we master something. One more left. I'm just glad that worked out. Try number one. Yeah. The corner is in place. It is time to continue moving up the wall. You just rock into the ladder. <laughs> Snack belt time. Let's take a little break and get some snacks up in us, huh? Yes, I love this. So today's snack belt choice of the day comes all the way from Germany. We got a box full of German chocolates, all kinds of different chocolate bars. We ate most of those already, but we have these giant wafers. You know how in the States we have those little, well, pretty much everywhere has those little wafers with the frosting inside? Look what Germany has. I mean, they went big with the wafer. Nice job, Germany. And then we have Ooh. brandy filled chocolates. You can't have any of these. These are for grown-ups only. I should probably save brandy filled chocolates for later, but I'm just gonna have one. Okay, that means you can't work with power tools now, rest of the day. Oh darn. Oh, oh, <laughs> there was a, that's like a shot of brandy in yeah. there. Yeah. Holy cow. Again, Germany, way to be. Mm -hmm. Do you like brandy filled chocolate? I mean, I like chocolate. I like brandy. You don't need the chocolate. You yeah. don't. You just go with the brandy. Well, I like the chocolate. You know oh. brandy is? Liquid candy. Mm. You want a Costco size wafer too? Yeah. Straight from Costco. Sam's Club. Let's go. Buy in bulk. Well, now that we've had our sugar fix for the afternoon, we are going to get back. Sugar and brandy. <laughs> sugar, brandy. Now that we've had our sugar and brandy fix for the afternoon, we're going to get back to work on our siding. It should turn out perfect. So our goal today is to accomplish what we did yesterday, which is to make it all the way up both sides of the window. And that will bring us pretty much to where the gable begins. And we have all those crazy angle cuts. I'm watching Jeremy put up siding and I'm also watching Rex rabbits run all over our property. So in the spring, I had a litter of three or four rabbits get out, all of which I thought were male, but nature um, nature finds a way. So obviously there was a female in the pack and they have since multiplied and multiplied again. Rabbit math is scary. They can have kits every 31 days and they do. So now 
I have rabbits all over the place. I'm going to have to solve this problem before the next garden season, or we're not going to have a garden, but uh, they're really cute to look at, but we gotta solve the problem. Jeremy, yeah. we got a rabbit problem on our hands. Yeah, we have for a couple <laughs> weeks now. I know. Well, I thought there were just two out, but I literally just saw five or six go running what? from underneath and <laughs> they're multiplying. We've got to trap them. We have to catch them. We can't let them run loose. So I know. We have 50 rabbits come springtime. We'll have 50 rabbits in the next 31 days. I know. It's a problem. Yeah. As Jeremy continues to make it up that wall, I'm going to go get Kira or Kaimani. Both of them are my little trappers. They're really good. So we have a live trap so we won't actually hurt the rabbits, but <laughs> I'm going to see if we can solve this today. Oh, and you guys are gonna see how uh, behind I am. <laughs> this is today's mail. Yeesh, so behind. All right, let's see if we can get the kids to help us. You guys wanna help me trap some rabbits? So, Let's set the trap. They're coming out of this pile. Okay. Up our back and then you pick up the little door. There's one way of doing it. All right. Okay, we'll see if we catch a rabbit. Mabel, you stay away from that trap. We got the trap set. Hopefully that works. At least to catch a couple of them. Jeremy went up that side of the window while I was doing that. Now he's just got that little small section to do over there. The reason this takes so much time is we have to make sure that the lines are not only straight going all the way around the house, but between the windows because there's small little sections and you can't have that side of the window being, you know, an inch higher than this side of the window with the line because it's supposed to look like a continual log wall that you cut the windows out like if you would a log home. But since we're using pieces, we have to go and make sure. And our laser level is not showing up. It's a little too bright for that. So Jeremy's going around and doing it manually with a level. Well, it happened. The first snow of the season. We officially did not reach our goal of being done with the outside of the house before the snow flies. But I realized something else. It doesn't matter. Absolutely nothing changed. No fit. We zipped up our coats and we pulled on our boots and we got back to work. Just as we have every day before. And as quickly as the snow came, it went. But it reminded us that winter is coming fast. And that goal well, it's still going to require some long, cold days ahead. <laughs> Why don't you like the hats? You don't like the hats that don't look good in the hat? So no, we didn't make our deadline. But goals don't always have to be reached. Sometimes the best thing about having a goal is that it keeps you moving and it gives you something to aim for. So if you don't reach your goal, don't worry. Set your posts out again and show up. Show up tired. Show up messy. Hell, show up late. But keep aiming for it. <laughs> 